get out there and blast. Get out there and blast. That's right. <laughs> cool. It's a wrap. <laughs>
you know, keep that in mind. If it's 100 degrees out, uh, it will be pretty frigid inside the helmet if you turn it <laughs> to maximum output, okay? So one of the other things with this, back to the CFM, um, you do need about twice as much. Uh -huh. You need 26 CFM for the C40, but I mean, in turn, it cools you down 50 degrees versus 30. Right. And also, if you're in a Four Seasons climate and you don't have to buy two, you can buy one, Right. And it'll heat you up and cool you down depending on what season you're working in. Yeah, that's so right. So it's, it's an awesome all-in-one unit, and yeah. it it does a great job. RPB is stellar with this. Yeah, it's uh, it's got some wizardry going on. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going <laughs> to begin to explain that, but you use enough air, air turns around in this thing, and it's able to either heat up or cool down. More importantly, it pushes the air away from you, uh, so you you know less concern about positioning to all my male blasters out there, okay? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, you know, we wanted to do a, a quick, short video about supplied air and some components uh, that they have for both of these helmets here. So as always, like I said, uh, if you like uh, our videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave some comments about, you know, some future videos, what you guys would like to see from either RPB or anything pertaining to blasting. And uh, as always, get out there and blast. Get out there and blast! That's right. <laughs> cool. It's a wrap. Get out there and blast. Get out there and blast. That's right. <laughs> cool. It's a wrap.